What's up, what's up everyone? This is Lee, the Video Game True Guy. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at some negatives and positives of a virtual reality game truck business. And the way I've structured it was by first, we're gonna ask the question or present a problem as in, hey, this is the problem, this is the negative. And then we're gonna look at the opposite side, something to counter the problem with a positive. Uh, you know, just keep an open mind. I'm doing the best I can to break some of these negatives and positives down for you so that you can make a better decision whether or not this business is for you. So we're gonna begin with the first one, and that is the negative, and that is your weekends are gone, right? So if you enjoy your Friday evenings, your Saturdays and your Sundays, you set this business up, right? Uh, especially in the beginning when you start, and that will be gone. That will no longer be applicable to you. So really think through if you want to give up your weekends, right? It's a commitment. Now you might say, okay, well, what is the positive? Well. If you run this business, and let's do some actual numbers here, and you could take out a pen and paper if you want, so pause the video so you can uh, you could write these things down for yourself and do some math as well. Okay, so let's say you are charging $450, right, for a two-hour event with a virtual reality game truck, right? That's what you charge to service the event. If you are doing six events in one weekend, as in Friday, Saturday, Sunday, over the span of three days, you're looking at about 2,700 gross, right? So $2,700 gross if you're doing six parties at $450. So now we can compare and contrast. You set the business up right, you're busy, right? Is it worth for you to give up your weekends for the next year or two or three, right? And generate, let's say, anywhere from two to four thousand dollars on the weekend, right? Again, I'm just, I'm just I'm using rounded numbers and numbers that I have myself seen. So it, it's from my experience, like from my area of operations. So that's a question to ask: Does the negative outweigh the positive, or does the positive outweigh the negative? Uh, negative for you, for your case, right? Something to think about. The next question is, you need to store your trailer somewhere, right? Now, maybe you are thinking about operating this business where there's, you know, it's a very congested area. Maybe it's a big city. And the nearest location to where you can store your trailer is 15 or 20 miles away. So you're like, wow, really? I can't find anything closer. Maybe you're not in that situation, but let's say you are. Right? So now you have to take into consideration the time it's going to take you to go from your home uh, to the base to hook up your trailer. Right, So that's 15 miles, one way 15 miles back, the other way from your home. That's 30 extra miles you got to drive if you're, you know, that, that to me that would be a negative, right? But what is the positive? Well, the positive is one of, not saying it's the, but it's one of the biggest reasons people do get into this business. And that's because there is no brick and mortar contracts, right? So as someone who has ran businesses, right? Being brick and mortar, my God, we had to, like, there was fire inspections. I mean, there were health departments that, like, it was just, it was so difficult to get things up and running. And then you are also in a contract, like you have to pay your rent every single month, right? So every business is different, right? Granted, there's so many ways this could go, but on one end, right, you have to drive maybe to get to, get to your trailer. On the other hand, you don't have these ridiculous fees sometimes and regulations or let's say uh, certain uh, contracts that you sign into in order to operate out of a facility, right? So now you have a landlord, right? So this is something that you have to uh, ask yourself as well. The next question is, is this, uh, and this is considered to be a negative for many, right? For many of those with whom especially I speak with over the phone, I know it's a negative, so I'm gonna mention it. And that is not everyone can afford the price of the ticket of $65,000 or more to get started in the virtual reality game truck business, right? And I completely understand that. So if your finances or if you don't have the resources to get into it and, and you know, you have a maybe difficulty thinking outside of the box, you're like, that's a lot of money, right? And I agree with you. For many people, that is a lot of money. It's not chump change. That's the negative. Let's look at the positive. Once you are in this business, operating it properly, you realize it's actually one of the cheaper ways to get into a business and make money, right? 
it's difficult to bridge this negative to this positive to many individuals because you don't really understand it or see it sometimes until you are in the second in the positive part as in you've set your business up you've been operational for a year you're making money then you could look back and say okay yeah it's work uh but i now see the positive right whereas in a negative you haven't done it you have to invest this money you're not even sure right so uh, that's one thing that's i think a little bit difficult to bridge right because you have to be there to understand it that that's the best way i could present this positive to you the next negative is the driving distance between your events right so especially if you're a one trailer operator uh, I've gone through this. Almost everyone who's been a one trailer or is a one trailer operator goes through this at least in the beginning while they're setting up the foundation. That is, you have party one that's maybe 15 miles away from uh, from where you keep your trailer stored. Then your next party is maybe 37 miles, you know, like southeast. And then your other party is, you know, let's say 22 miles, uh, let's say north, whatever, or south. So now you did these three parties. Now you have to also take into account the drive back right and then from there the drive back to your home or wherever it is you go after you finish servicing the event so the negative in this case is the crazy amount of driving that you have to do when you have a one trailer operation right and i've experienced it what is the positive well the positive is this if you understand how to properly set up your events ahead of time you understand the flow of the business right once you go through your beginning stages you can get very organized and know what to charge and how to schedule your events many never arrive to that because they don't understand they just take like there, there are some companies who literally just take anything and everything right uh, as you become more and more mature in your business you many i'm not saying you and exactly but a lot can step back and be a lot more picky right you could start making choices based on understanding the flow of business in your area and that is a plus if you can catch that you could go to uh, you go much more than just one trailer operation if you grasp that that is a positive the next one is working in a loud environment right so we are working with children predominantly and even if it's not children i've done some new year's parties i've done some weddings people get loud in the trailer right so for many of you that's a negative you don't want to be in a business maybe maybe you're looking for, for some type of like a home business that's you're quiet you're by yourself um you know for example i don't know if i mentioned this i love working by myself alone but that's not the case in what i do right but maybe you're one of those people who can only work by themselves you don't like loud noises right and it's instantly that's a negative right so how do we counter that what is the positive well the positive for this type of environment is you have certain rules that you're very clear about when people are or kids or adults are coming in to you know uh to experience the the service right so if you're very clear just like a freebie here you're let's say you're very clear and you say hey you're more than welcome to be loud but there is no screaming allowed okay that's one of the rules so if you are organized uh, then you have these set rules through organization that help you run your events smoother so now you could keep the decibel levels lower because you've set up a certain you know rule requirement right and and by the way a lot a lot of kids will scream so there's a big difference between being loud and screaming so uh if you can't if you cannot control that then that negative will outweigh the positive but for the most part that shouldn't be an issue next negative is uh it's difficult there's a lot of difficulty for many people in this industry securing the larger deals for example like maybe a baseball stadium for whatever event some off-road event uh, maybe a school district so many do not know how to do it and i see that as a negative right the thing is there's actually two positives that come out of this one it leaves the gates wide open for you to come in if you are a little bit more aggressive and you, you actually want it you have all this room now to operate right when people don't pick up the phone to secure the larger deals you have this great playing field in front of you which is a positive you just have to go and do it you have to go and get it right um, going and doing it and getting it is is where it's at 
right? It, it's not about, um, you, you'd be surprised how many people will receive, let's say, an email lead, and there's a phone number, right? And they're too afraid to call that number, right? But now you mean like, whoa, now you want me to call a company director somewhere? Yeah, that's what you do. You call them, right? So this, even though is a negative, you could secure much larger deals if you are fearless in your approach. And that is the positive. But that's a psychological element that I cannot really go into. I'm not that qualified yet <laughs> to get into that. Uh, next one is, this business is just not, not my cup of tea, right? Maybe you're like, I don't even like video games. I don't want to do this. I don't want to pull a trailer. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. And these are all good concerns. This is something to be concerned about. If that's a negative, um, this would be where I would say, you know what? Um, if you don't want to run this on the side as a weekend job, as extra source of income, perhaps, uh, and you just don't like loud environments, you don't like to drive, you don't want to learn how to pull a trailer, there's all these things, right, that you just don't like about the business, then don't do it, right? Assess yourself and ask yourself the question, you know, what we've gone over, the neg negatives and the positives, uh, you know, which weighs more, the positive or the negative? Because if it's a negative, then don't do it. But if it's a positive, most logical question after that is if you and you are going to do it is um, comes down to finances. That that's like one of the biggest issues in this entire industry is the financing of, of your trailer. Um, you know, another negative that you may have. Well, I don't know how to run this business. I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do that. Well, that's a negative. The positive is I'll be happy to train you and go over with you many of the things that you need to know. Um, and then you can implement the knowledge so that you know how to start and operate your business. Now, maybe you're already a business owner. You don't need that. Good for you. That means you're probably already a step ahead. Uh, but not knowing and knowing, right? Not knowing is a negative. Knowing is a positive. And I'll do my best to help you know and learn. So yeah, these are the negative and the positives, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that I answered some of the questions and now you could sit down and think this through and see if this is for you. Everyone, thank you so much. This is Lee, the Video Game Truck Guy. You have a super awesome day.